Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about the macOS Sonoma 14.5 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. Apple recently released macOS Sonoma 14.5, the fifth update to the macOS Sonoma operating system that launched last September. macOS Sonoma 14.5 comes more than two months after the launch of macOS Sonoma 14.4. To update to macOS 14.5, open System Settings, then go to the Software Updates section, and then check for Updates. Here, you can see the update is available for my device. This macOS 14.5 update size is around 2.43 GB for my device. Click on Update Now, and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device, and enter the password when prompted. Keep in mind that once this update is downloaded, it may take about 20 minutes to install. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sonoma 14.5, and the build number is 23F79. Moving forward and talking about macOS Sonoma 14.5 release notes, the macOS 14.5 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sonoma 14.5. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 15.4, available from the Mac App Store. Moving forward and talking about the resolved issues in this build. For FaceTime fixed, users might not be able to approve or decline a FaceTime link call because notifications might not be received on the caller side for them to accept or decline the call. For Mac apps, designed for iPad, fixed. Mac OS might launch the wrong version for, designed for iPad, apps after double-clicking the icon or after building from Xcode. Besides that, Mac OS 14.5 adds a new game for Apple News Plus subscribers. With Mac OS 14.4, Apple also didn't bring many new features. Still, Cupertino expanded multiple timers on macOS Sonoma with all ringtones currently available on the iPhone. Previously, only the classic tones were available. Now moving forward and talking about the security content of macOS Sonoma 14.5. Apple security documents reference vulnerabilities by CVID when possible. The Sonoma 14.5 update includes nearly two dozen security patches, including several that may lead to arbitrary code execution. Now talking about each security fix regarding Apple AVD, which was impacted by an app may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. The issue was addressed with improved memory handling. Regarding Apple Mobile File Integrity, which was impacted by an app may be able to bypass certain privacy preferences and an attacker may be able to access user data and a local attacker may gain access to keychain items. A downgrade issue affecting Intel-based Mac computers was addressed with additional code signing restrictions. And a logic issue was addressed with improved checks. And a downgrade issue was addressed with additional code signing restrictions, respectively. Regarding Apple VA, which was impacted, processing a file may lead to unexpected app termination or arbitrary code execution. The issue was addressed with improved memory handling. Regarding AV Video Encoder, which impacted C, an app may be able to disclose kernel memory. The issue was addressed with improved memory handling. Regarding CF Network, which impacted Tay, an app may be able to read arbitrary files. A correctness issue was addressed with improved checks. Regarding Finder, which impacted an app may be able to read arbitrary files. This issue was addressed through improved state management. Regarding Kernel, which impacted BaseMes, an attacker may be able to cause unexpected app termination or arbitrary code execution. The issue was addressed with improved memory handling. Regarding LibSystem, which impacted is, an app may be able to access protected user data. A permissions issue was addressed by removing vulnerable code and adding additional checks. Regarding Maps, which impacted by an app that may be able to read sensitive location information. A path handling issue was addressed with improved validation. Regarding Package Kit, which impacted by an app that may be able to gain root privileges, and an app may be able to elevate privileges. A logic issue was addressed with improved restrictions, and this issue was addressed by removing the vulnerable code respectively. Regarding Print Center, which impacted Robesis, an app may be able to execute arbitrary code out of its sandbox or with certain elevated privileges. The issue was addressed with improved checks. 
regarding remote view services, which impacted an attacker may be able to access user data. A logic issue was addressed with improved checks. Regarding shared file list, which impacted an app may be able to elevate privileges, a logic issue was addressed with improved checks. Regarding shortcuts, which impacted A, shortcut may output sensitive user data without consent. A path handling issue was addressed with improved validation. Regarding storage kit, which impacted Bro, an attacker may be able to elevate privileges. An authorization issue was addressed with improved state management. Regarding sync services, which impacted A, an app may be able to bypass privacy preferences. This issue was addressed with improved checks. Regarding UDF, impacted by mice, an app may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. The issue was addressed with improved checks. Regarding voice control, impacted by an attacker, may be able to elevate privileges. The issue was addressed with improved checks. Lastly, regarding the WebKit, impacted by an attacker with arbitrary read and write capability, may be able to bypass pointer authentication. The issue was addressed with improved checks. So, that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical to the previous one. Alongside macOS 14.5, Apple has also released iOS 17.5, iPadOS 17.5, watchOS 10.5, and tvOS 7.5 to users. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.